What can we say about Leo Fender? The man designed the most iconic guitars, basses, and amplifiers that literally changed the way we play and listen to music. Well, today we're gonna to talk about one of his lesser known inventions, the magnetic field design pickups, and why I think they could be a game changer for a lot of players. Let's get started. So what's so great about the magnetic field design pickups and what sets them apart from their Alneco cousins? Well, a couple things. First of all, these are ceramic based pickups, okay? So these guys are gonna be warmer and more powerful than the Alneco cousins. The Alneco pickups have rods in them and each one of the pull piece rods is the magnet. Whereas here, the magnet is on the bottom of the pickup. And that offers one huge advantage and one that really is a game changer. And that means you can have single coil sounds with adjustable pull pieces. Now having single coil pickups with adjustable pull pieces is absolutely awesome. And it's one of those things where it takes the power of the sound and puts it in the player's hand, which I always think is awesome. It doesn't just say, you know, this is how you should sound, uh, deal with it or work within these parameters. It gives the player a ton more flexibility to dial in you know, their perfect tone, which is super appreciated. So on a regular pickup, you can raise it, you can lower it, you can kind of tilt it side to side, and you can do that all that here as well. But to be able to balance each individual string via pull piece is awesome. You can sort of do a vintage stagger, you can do a, a scooped profile, you can do a mid boost, you know, anything you can dream of, you can do. And I know lots of players sort of have a love hate relationship with these MDF pickups. But I think if players just took the time to try a few different things out, you can get some absolutely amazing tones. So today we're going to do just that. I'm going to play a few different examples for you guys using different pull piece configurations and see if you guys can hear the difference. So to show you guys how easy it is to adjust a pull piece and how much it actually really affects your tone, what I've done is I've taken the third string pull piece and raised it quite high, higher than you know a normal person would do. But this is sort of to illustrate Fender's vintage stagger. Okay, so on certain pickups, the pull pieces are, are you know staggered up and down in height, um, and the third string tends to be really prominent, and it really drives me nuts on some of those designs. But anyway, we can totally recreate that effect with these pickups. So what I'm going to do is just play through a basic pentatonic scale for you guys. Listen to the third string I'm going to use the same same pick attack for you know every string and just listen to the difference in volume here we go Okay, so hopefully that wasn't peaking but it might have been uh, so what I'm gonna do now is just take my little Allen key and lower it here it just takes like two seconds so I'm just going to screw that back down. And there we go. It's all the way down. And if we play the same thing, here we go. You get your balance sound back. Okay, what we're going to do now is raise the third string pull piece and the fourth string pull piece to kind of create that mid boost. So first and second and fifth and sixth will be left totally flat. And we're just gonna, yeah, raise the third string and the fourth string to see if we can kind of create that nice bluesy mid boost. Next up, what we're going to try is a little bit of a mid cut or sort of that mid scoop sound, I guess. So we're going to raise the first string pull piece and the second string pull piece. And again, you can see I'm raising them quite high, so probably more than what a normal player would do. But I really want to show the flexibility of the system and, you know, the sound difference that it actually makes. So we'll, we'll raise the fifth string and the sixth string as well. And we're going to leave the fourth string and the third string totally stock. And yeah, I don't know. Take a listen to the sound and see if you guys like it. Now 
Now I know a lot of players are either hot or cold on the magnetic field design pickups, but I just wanted to show you guys how easy it was and how quickly you can change the tone of the pickups. So don't write them off. Um, you know, take 30 seconds, take 10 seconds to adjust a pull piece. It's so easy to do and you can really craft your own tone. So if you're noticing, you know, a certain pickup uh, has too much of a frequency, you can literally dial that out and sort of put it in balance with your other instruments. So if you have a telly that sounds like really killer through your amp and then you plug in your GNL and it has maybe too much mids or too much lows, you can actually rebalance the pickups themselves. So give it a shot. I think it's awesome. Thanks so much for watching you guys. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, have an awesome week you guys. We'll see you next time with a new video. Take care.